Well, got it done. Purring like a kitten. No skipping, no engine light, no nothing. She's done. Running good too. Running like it. I mean, it's smooth. No engine lights. Nothing. It's a beautiful sight right there. Got good oil pressure. It ain't started heating up real good yet. All nature's already charged up good. We're good to go. Telling y'all about this company. This is Wimco based out of Washington, North Carolina. They build all the Walgreens in North Carolina, period. This is the general project manager's truck who stays at the site from the day it is ground broken until the day it is opened. Uh, when his car comes in, this, uh, when his vehicles come in here, they are worked on immediately. There's no, there's no time for mistakes. There's no time for errors. See, I've got everything back together. This truck was originally having a skip. It, they had taken it to somewhere else to try to get it done fast because I was booked. Spent about a thousand dollars, didn't get nowhere. Uh, long story short, I got it over here. I diagnosed it with the modus that you see sitting over there on top of the toolbox. Did an injector balance test. Come to find out all the injectors were pulsing fuel. Uh, Tested misfire counter, found a misfire on cylinder number two, which was a hard misfire. Every time it went to make a compression stroke and the spark plug fired, it was dead on arrival. Did a compression test, something that should have been done way earlier. Found that it had eight pounds of compression on cylinder number two, which is the front cylinder on this side. And I'm just showing you this video to show you the attention to detail that I take in my work. I take pride in my work. I mean, every fastener is fastened. Everything looks just like it did from GM. Uh, nothing's changed, only the parts have got better. Uh, come to find out that carbon had got stuck, in, stuck up under the exhaust valve on cylinder number two, had jammed it open momentarily. Uh, as a result of that, on the compression stroke, the Intake valve was still open where it had just drew in foot fuel and when it come back up to make a, the compression stroke for the spark plug to fire, it struck the valve. Uh, the valve was bent. It would not close off. That's why we had eight pounds of compression, but this job is done. It's done. It's over with. It's out of my hair. Uh, three week turnaround. Uh, most of that time, there was about two weeks of it that it, it was at the machine shop. But I want to thank Taz Racing for doing all of my machine work. Dude, you're awesome. You build 1,000 horsepower small blocks. I mean, got to give you props. This is the 2001 Chevrolet C1500 with the 4.3 W motor. We just put the head gaskets on. I'm going to go ahead and fire it up for you. Fires right up. Oil pressure is good. Jumps right to the top. Still a little warm from where I test drove it. I test drove it 71.6 miles. Alternator's charging good. We have no engine lights. We have nothing in the message center. Everything's good to go. Just to show you how good it's running, I'll take you around here to it. She's running good. Looks original. Looks like nobody's ever touched it. That's the way any work should look. If you ever go to a repair shop and you start seeing missing bolts, stuff like that, when you get your car back, they done something wrong. You should not see anything like that. You'll never see it come out of here. If there's a bolt missing from a previous repair, I'll find one and put it on. I'm, I, it's not leaving out of here. You can see all the fasteners, everything is just like original, just like it would be if it come from GM. You could expect no less. Uh, I mean, if you, if you expect any less, you're selling yourself short and you're setting yourself up for failure. Uh, and it'll be a disaster. 
if you have a, a 1995 model back 4.3 the torque sequence is different on those engines this one here works off of 24 foot pounds of torque on the first cycle and then it goes off of degrees after that i'm not going to explain that to you if you're going to put a set of head gaskets on this truck you're going to have to research it um she's running good i mean real proud of this job about uh about nine hours invested on my end and again i'm gonna thank taz racing engines for putting together a good set of heads um all the valves in it were done i mean it's it's right you can't get any better than this if you can go to the dealership and pay 150 dollars an hour but unless you want to do that you're going to pay 65.